Hello everybody, flush from the victory of the regular run under one hour no deaths. Let's continue with hard mode in the third wave. This is by far the trickiest and basically every one of these runs is its own little segment that I did just by itself. Okay, you want to fling your hammer right away there. You have a shot or two to waste with a headhunter, but you need it for that general. Taking him down close range basically requires either heavy firepower or uh, the headhunter or something like that. I guess you could sledgehammer him, but you don't have a sledgehammer at that point. This part of the level is still more or less the same. You want to bait him into coming in, but you want to take him down with the old world rifle, get his sledgehammer, and use that to take down these skellies. Now, you can line up a shot with that top skeleton on the, uh, the pier up there, but only if you have the headhunter. No other gun would that work for. And I actually don't know how you're supposed to handle a lot of these levels without that excellent weapon. That uh, skeleton you saw was alerted to me, so he needed to be dealt with before he came down here. This is one of those times when we don't want a lot of other skeletons just sitting around. I've not seen this to fail, although it seems really good. The 9mm seems well equipped to the task, uh, the task of taking them down. The SMG, at least. Don't bring a regular 9mm up there, for heaven's sake. The rest of this part of the level is pretty much just like the first one. You're just a sniper man. I know there's another hidden uh, guy down there, so hopefully, yeah, just fire around and pop them up. We had enough 9mm SMG ammo to take him down anyways, uh, if we hadn't attracted him then. But just like before, you get a uh, end of level refill in your old world rifle, but oh my land, the ambush they give you. This is just another reason to be taking out all the lights as you progress, especially in hard mode. Remember, speed is also a concern for us, so while we, you know, could go slowly and pick these people off one by one, we do want to be barreling through. Um, I think time will be much more tight. Fortunately, that engineer doesn't lay any um, mines when he's out of your field of vision, so if you take him down immediately as you see him, you won't run into any mines. I was suspicious about that, so I actually launched that uh, grenade right there to try to catch any of them. But whatever. This part uh, was a little spooky because I ran out of ammo and had to do a little um, stairs dash. That's how that goes. Anyway, we don't need to kill all the undead, so I might as well just get out of here. Uh, as I was saying, the slowdown is, you know, still happening, obviously. Um, computer's still the same. And if the time is close enough, I may go through and adjust the timer. Uh, because there's slowdown in a lot of these later levels. I just think there's enough going on with the rain and everything. Um, so, you know, we'll see. Anyway, that was the first level there. Again, not terrifically different, although the, these levels are a lot of fun to try to work out like puzzles, basically. Uh, because in order to do these quickly, there's basically just the one way that I've found to do them. I'm sure there's other, like, more fun ways, but I haven't actually seen any speed runs of hard mode at all, so this is kind of uncharted territory. Now, anytime there's two enemies and you're using a headhunter, you want to line them up with the one at the end. You also want to close, uh, so you can get both enemies pretty easily. You might miss your second shot if you aim at the first enemy's head. Especially if, I mean, obviously that only works if they're at the same head level. You need to not alert the guard upstairs for this one. And we're not going to be using our headhunter again so we could waste that ammo there. Um, and the reason you don't want to alert that uh, lieutenant up there, besides the fact that he's inconvenient to come down, is you need him to notice you and alert the two skeletons above. We used that trick in the regular mode version of this level as well, when there was only one skelly up there. You can also see there's a lot more mines lying around, so we need to be careful where we move. Two shots ought to take him down, and what I'd really like is to draw his attention and uh, bring him over this way so I can hit the mine and get him. Now we have enough ammo to, uh, actually let me get the um, grenade launcher. We have enough ammo now to take down both of the guys in these rooms. Not bad. Oops, missed a shot. Oh wow, that was, uh, that was a near thing. Anyway though, um, in fact, because um, there's one shot left in the shotgun from when it was a trap, that'll still work. Now let's see if we can get the dog to go over there. He did. There's only one dog on the left hand side so we can use our sawed off shotgun. They switch up the order of the dogs there to try to sandwich you with them, but it actually works to our benefit. Then with the uh, grenade blast that took down the engineer. That level was real tricky, but it was uh, also quite fun. This next level coming up is much more brute forcey than it was the last time, because spoiler alert, we are going to have to um, deal with a lot more enemies in a lot different places. Now, uh, you want to use the uh, headhunter on him there, because it only alerts one of the skeletons downstairs, not the dog, not the other one. Bring him up, get him with the sledgehammer, 
no problem there. We've got our sledgehammer and nobody on the bottom floor is alerted. You need to not alert the engineer as well because he's going to start laying mines everywhere and that's just a mess. Now all of them are dealt with. This requires some fancy footwork. You gotta run upstairs, turn off the light, and then run back downstairs. The reason for that is if they don't see you leave the floor, they won't leave the floor, and so they all stay here and kind of bunch up nicely. Um, if they see you leave the floor, as in you don't turn the lights off, then they'll chase down after you and it gets much uglier. Okay, we've got the headhunter now, and so we need to be conscious of that. Uh, if you duck past in the sliding door there, then uh, they can uh, not fire at you and just sort of ignore you. Man, thank goodness. Uh, you need to do much more fancy type of footwork I found in, in hard mode. That was not a sure thing at all. And again, this is, um, I don't think I'm going to try for a single type of hard mode run of um, the game. I really don't think so, just because it's just so hard. Like, uh, a lot, none of these things are really good. I could die at any number of times here. And, and, you know, I said uh, the other hard modes ones weren't single segment runs. These ones are basically, there's a different recording for each level because I had to try each of them seven or eight times before they work. It might be fun just to show the complete failure reel for one of these. I might do that at some point. But anyway, the end of it is you have enough firepower to take up those down, just like normal. This next level coming up here, um, this is the one uh, where we have to get the way to get our way to the shipping container and just like the other ones I said before we uh, have to use there, there's a lot more generals placed around and there are um, other situations we have to get into because this time we're gonna be required to kill all the enemies in the level as a stark contrast from last time when we could just take down a couple and then escape so we want to conserve ammo and that means using the hammer when necessary it's three hammer swings to take down a general uh, two to take down most of the other guys, and you, for heaven's sake, don't fight the lieutenants with a hammer. Cool. You can see we've alerted a general up there, but I haven't seen him come down and get in um, get in our business. We can just leave him be. Now, this 9mm, I think it was an SMG in normal, yeah, and uh, it is here as well. We didn't bother with it before, uh, but now we're going to need the ammo. You can see, again, there's another engineer down here, so I'll just take care of him. This option for dealing with the engineer was available to us in regular mode, and I wonder if it wouldn't have been easier, because it's, it doesn't require any finesse at all. Um, he's just You can just pop up and hammer him down. I might give that a try or something. That's just a safer way to do things. Luring the, the dog down with the 9mm means you're pretty much safe. Unfortunately, if you do that quickly enough, you can escape before the head notices you. Um, it didn't happen this time, but just like in normal mode, there's a, these bolt-action rifles right over here. So... Uh, no big deal. Now, um, the level isn't quite over, even though I've killed all the original skeletons, and believe me, it is well worth your time to do so, because though they spring an ambush on you, and though, perhaps predictably, the ambush is there is another general who's going around waking up skellies, um, it's just better not to have everybody awaken after you. The last thing you need is another general, plus a whole contingent of skeletons. To worry about. Fortunately, rather than dealing with me, he was raising one of the dead, which means I was able to get him in the back, and that was that. Not bad for horror show. Uh, most things have been at or under two minutes, which is really what I'm shooting for. That's uh, two minutes is the amount of time that a level is allowed to take. So, here we go, Timur the Tinkerer. Uh, this level, you, there's no getting around that shotgun. You have to run in and grab the thing, which makes it really spooky. I found out something doing this recording that I had no idea, which is that you can actually shoot the grenade clusters and make them fire early. It's a little bit quicker than pressing the uh, um, trigger for the traps and just waiting for them. Or you can see I actually didn't actually trigger that top right one there, which means it comes down and scares the, the donk out of me. Uh, this is just like before you hide behind the couch, he comes out and gets uh, shotgunned. This general has pretty random behavior. I've seen him come down to investigate, I've seen him run all the way to the right. I've seen him kind of get stuck in the door. Uh, this is about his best case because he doesn't see you. He's too busy raising the dead, and that guy, for whatever reason, has never noticed me offing the general. I could probably let him just continue raising the dead without any repercussions, but I don't see any reason to let him have his way. Here again, uh, there's no way to disarm that thing because of the mine there. You just kind of have to get up and close the door before it becomes an issue. And there's old lieutenant in there. 
Now, I actually forgot which one it is, and hilariously enough, I actually got it wrong. Uh -huh. That's the wrong one, as you can see. That should have killed me, but fortunately the door being closed and me being all the way over to the left means I was fine. So I'll just activate the correct one now. Two more doesn't seem to look up from his workshop at all. And down he goes. Sorry, buddy. The rest of the level is, as before, just a cakewalk, and that means we are halfway through the, uh, the skeletons. Again, as I've said, I I'm... Uh, leaving the timer on just regular for now because it's more of a hassle to try to get it synced up with the frame rate but if this puts me over the hour limit and i really wouldn't be if i added up the times i'll change that uh but eh, join me next time for the last half of the last run see you next time